So for Kane Trump, back again with yet another attempt to be a review. What I'm going to review just now is a ah, Budweiser, and it's a Bud Light and Lime, 4% on Richter scale for this one. Uh, this is one that I have tried before. I actually got this for my eldest lodger. He was wanting a few beers one night. Usual text message when you're in the supermarket. Dad, pick me up a few beers. So he's into all these uh, your macro laggers and stuff like that. So he does like bud and stuff like that. So he wanted something different. So I picked this up for him. Uh, bud Light and Lime. I have drank it before. I drank this before in New York. Uh, my wife is not much of a drinker, but there was one day we were out in New York. We were on holiday and it was really, really hot. And uh, usual. Have to go back to the hotel. I've got the wrong shoes on. You know what it's like. So I was going, I want to go for a beer. And she went, well, can we not get a little six pack or something and you can drink a couple of them when I'm a bit no, usual. So anyway, I'm back to the hotel. So I picked these up. Because it was during the day. Uh, just to have a couple, you know, what women are like. They go in and they can they kind of get the right shoes. Or, oh, I can't wear these shoes. I've got to change these trousers and all that kind of stuff. So I picked these up anyway. Because she does like the odd beer. Not very often, but... Well, anyway, 4% on a Richter scale. I can't remember if it was 4% in America or not. Uh, maybe someone out there might be able to to enlighten me. So anyway, I'll go in here for the nose. I'm going to drink this out of the bottle. Because I get some of these beers and I pour them into a glass. And <laughs> here's the pour. What's the point of the pour? You can see the bottle. There's the beer, for God's sake. So anyway, I'll go in here for the aroma under the nose. And all you're getting is a big smack of lime. That's what you're expecting. So anyway, it's all about the taste. So, Slangy Var, so fucking drunk drinking a Bud Light and that. Slangy Var. Well, right away, big smack of lime, which is quite refreshing actually. Big smack of lime. I've just actually reviewed Bud Light. So this one's coming right after it. And Bud Light is a little bit bland. It's okay. It does the job. But this has got more of a intenseness about it. The, the lime's actually... I'm going to use the wrong term here, but you might know what I mean. It's 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 open to drink up a little bit, although it's lime you're drinking, uh, you're you're tasting. It's refreshing, hot day stuff, barbecue, football match, uh, anything outdoors, uh, just sitting about with your pals or whatever, and a beer garden in a pub or something. I wouldn't drink it in my home soil, to be honest with you, but go to the States or go abroad, anywhere, you, you saw you saw that. I've drank that before a lot of stuff, to be honest with you, lager. Like, so you, you see a lot of these guys out there, they love the, your Mexican lagers, you put a little bit of lemon or lime in the neck of the bottle and drink it through that way. I would probably drink these uh, before I would drink like... Uh, some of those kind of beers because I'm not getting the I don't have to pick the the pith out of my mouth if you know what I mean uh, this is, it's okay so I, I think this one actually like brewed on the license in the UK now I'm not sure uh, let's see what it says what does it say can't see anything It doesn't tell me actually. Oh wait a minute. Well it's got St. Louis on it. It's actually this actually might be imported from America. Let's see what it says. Ah no 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 no. Brewed in the UK. Anheuser Busch. From St. Louis, brewed and distributed. 
Brewed in UK and distributed by InBev. There you go, InBev strikes again. The monster that is InBev. So anyway, it's a Bud Light in line. I'm going to give it a so fucking drunk rating of. It's going to just get what the... Uh, well, actually, I'll give it a little bit of higher mark. I'll give a Bud, Bud Light a 6. I'm going to give it a 6.1. Uh, out of 10. So anyway, if you've had the Bud Light in line, give us a shout. And if not, if you stayed along to the end of the video, it's Andy Vah, and I'll see you in another beer review. Ciao for now. We can get a decent beer now. Ciao.